Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Codations, and in today's video, we're going to be diving back into some Cookie Run Kingdom, and we're going to be giving you guys all of the information that you need to know about the new Fig Cookie. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Diving right in, ladies and gentlemen. So the first thing we're going to be taking a look at is Fig Overview, giving you guys a breakdown of her skill, talking about what toppings I see are going to be best for Fig. Not only that, we're going to then hop over to her event and talk about how to summon her A and guarantee you a copy of Fig Cookie before the end of her event. And then last but not least, we're going to be taking a look at some gameplay and my conclusion on what I think overall about Fig Cookie. So the first thing up we've got is going to be taking a look at Fig. It's going to be a support class cookie. You can see that up here up in the top left hand corner and then not only that it's gonna be placed in the middle row so very similar to pomegranate as far as positioning goes and class um, take a look at the skill. We've got Jelly Horn. The sound of Fig Cookie's Jelly Horn summons a flock of angered Fig birds that swarm the enemy, dealing damage. Surprised by this sudden attack, the enemies suffer from a reduced attack. And then now we talk about a little bit of stuff in the gray here. It's going to be a single hit damage skill. So it's not going to be a damage over time. So it's going to be doing a mega ton of damage just right off the bat. And then not only that, it's the whole purpose behind the skill is to reduce the enemy's attack power by 20% for 7 seconds. Now, 100%, you can make the comparison over to something like Pomegranate Cookie, because Pomegranate Cookie is basically the direct opposite. Pomegranate is going to buff your ally's attack power by 20% for a certain amount of seconds. Fig Cookie is going to, instead of buffing your allies, going to put a debuff on the enemies that you are going up against, and it's going to directly reduce their damage output by 24%, all right? So again, kind of a very, very niche cookie, and not only that, it's going to be direct competing with something like Pomegranate. So the real question is going to come down to, is it going to be worth utilizing Fig Cookie to put a debuff on the enemy versus putting a buff on your allies? Yeah, exactly. It's a hard question. But with that being said, let's go ahead and dive over into the official toppings. Now, if you were looking to run Fig Cookie and build Fig Cookie, 100% the best topping to utilize on Fig is going to be Swift Chocolates, all right? Because it's going to give you that set bonus of additional 5% of cooldown, not only the additional cooldown you're going to get on each individual topping and substat your whole idea here with running swift chocolates is going to be reducing the cooldown because you want to be able to make sure that utilizing fig your whole goal is to keep this debuff on the enemy team to reduce their damage 100 percent of the time therefore any additional cooldown reduction that you can get to allow you to pop off the skill more is going to be the best option for somebody like Fig. All right, now moving over to the official events and how you can get yourself a guaranteed copy of Fig Cookie. That's right, a guaranteed copy for free, baby. All right, so the first one up we've got is gonna be collecting horns, right? Pretty self-explanatory. You're pretty much just gonna get in here, complete these individual missions and stages, and as you complete these, you will then collect these horns. Now, these horns you will use directly in the Lucky Game event as you can see right here and you have to spend 50 of them at a time in order to get a spin right or a roll on what in my personal opinion I like to call a bingo card right you've got so many slots that it can land on once it lands on it then that slot becomes you know um, unavailable to land on and with that being said in essence you can clear the entire board now here's where the trick comes into play already now diving into the information provided by Andy Z in my discord my friend thank you very much um, on the left hand side here Again, keep in mind, he created this at the beginning of the event. That's what the calculator is over here for. We're going to actually do the math based on the calculations of today of the time of recording this video to prove to you guys that you guys can still get yourself a guaranteed copy of Fig Cookie. But on the left-hand side, he's got the repeatable missions that award horns. In the center, he's got the baseline daily multiplier. Then he's got the amount of horns you can achieve based on the daily multiplier. And then he's got the math over on the top-hand side here that shows um, the breakdown and where he's getting his information. So we're not going to review um, the whole chart, but the big thing is to keep in mind is the daily multiplier is going to be based on bare minimum of effort. All right. As he's got put down here, bare minimum effort is just going to be, you're getting in here, doing the missions at least once per day and then moving on. Now, however, if you happen to invest more time, obviously you're going to get more horns than what's calculated um, currently on this chart. But he wanted to do this with bare minimum effort that still shows that you guys are guaranteed to get a copy. All right. So now with this being said, you can see his math. There is 40 days in the event. So the 
the baseline total with is 1,356 horns. And then you can see 1,356 horns is enough for 27 draws. Remember the draws in the event is going to cost you 50 horns to get a pull, all right? So keep that in mind. Now, let's go ahead and break out the calculator and let's do some additional math, all right? Because if you don't already know, we'll hop back over here to the game to show you. There's only 36 days left in the event, all right? So not 40. So we're going to go ahead and do the um, average here. We're going to do 36 because there's only 36 days left. We're going to times it by the 33.9 um, horns that you can get per day because we're still utilizing the same, you know, multiplier. We're going to go 33.9 and then we're going to hit. OK, that's going to give us 1,220 horns all right so with that being said we need to divide that by 50 because you have to use 50 each time you pull on the banner and that's going to give us 24 pulls now why is this important go ahead and show you back into the game that the events board only has 21 slots right we've got one two three four five five ten fifteen twenty and the last one being fit cookie 21 slots that means because as of right now you have 24 pulls if you happen to do the bare minimum per day that will give you guys a guarantee 21 pulls to then give yourself a free copy of fake cookie so starting today do not sleep on it if you are looking to get it you got a couple of days to spare if you happen to miss but nevertheless like i said you can get yourself a free copy of fake cookie the last thing i wanted to dive into as well is going to be don't forget in the featured banner the probabilities also do contain fig cookie now it's going to be the same as every other epic not going to be the rate up like it does give you for pastry cookie so just keep that in mind and then also the same thing with the standard cookie banner and the probabilities you also can see that pastry cookie and fig cookie both have been added into the banner all right now take a look at fig cookie in action just to give you guys a better understanding of how the skill works all right so again keep in mind fig cookie is going to be a support class not mint to do a mega ton of damage all right but one thing that i will point out here that i do think is really cool about fig cookie the aoe range is ridiculously long i mean we were we were spotlighting her on the official live stream when we got the summon off but i mean for a base support cookie the damage seems to be pretty decent and not only that, not only that the range is ridiculous all right but again keep that in mind however in my personal opinion for my conclusion on fig cookie i do not think it's going to be worth utilizing fig over somebody like pomegranate right the buffing your allies is just way far superior than it's going to be then to adding the damage reduction on the enemy team um you guys let me know down below in the comments what your guys's thoughts are on them me personally i got in there i summoned an on summon on fig cookie i was excited to get fig and the brand new pastry cookie because i'm just a collector right i like to get every cookie in the game plus you never know in the future if a cookie does get a buff or a nerf which then pretty much resets the meta but overall like i said you can see currently stage five 26 she's having no problem pushing through again she might die off because we don't have a healer or toppings on her currently at the moment but like i said that's gonna be my personal opinion you guys let me know what you guys think down below in the comments but please as always be sure to like comment and sub subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get a notification every time we drop a video i love each and every one of you and i will see you guys on the next one